Doctor. Hmm? Doctor, look in the waiting room. Look at that rabbit. He looks really sick. It looks like he's been abandoned here. Oh, dear. I think he's unconscious. Let's get him into the examination room right away. Doctor, the rabbit's waking up. Hmm, good. He's disoriented. He seems to be looking for something. It must be that doll he had with him. Ah, the one he left in the waiting room. Well, let's begin the examination. He appears tame. That's good. Is something wrong with his foreleg? No, it, it's fine. Whoa, take it easy, little rabbit. Hmm. Oh, this looks bad. I'd better lie him down. I'll check inside his mouth. Mm-hmm, checks out fine. Now I'll try rolling him over and checking his ears for mites. They seem fairly clean. Well, he seems to check out. He's just very overweight for a rabbit of his size. I think he's a little disturbed. I should run some more tests. Where are my probing instruments? people today are more lonely. 
They sit in their lonely apartments eating junk food and drinking sugary drinks. And are they happy? No. Because they don't like to be alone. Now, you may ask, where are their friends? Where is their family? Have they been tossed aside like an old rag doll? It doesn't matter, because slowly a feeling of hopelessness crushes us like an old tin can. We try to spring up again, but a cloak of gloom surrounds us. We want to be friends with people, but then we don't think they'll like us. Oh, the horror of loneliness, that most horrible of afflictions. Loneliness certainly is a horror. But is there a cure for loneliness, Doctor? Oh, yes, it's quite simple. Just run outside and give somebody a big hug. Squish them. You won't have to be lonely anymore. for telling our listeners to run out and hug somebody. Squish them! Doctor, is it humans alone who suffer from loneliness? What about the lower forms of animals? Oh, animals don't mind being lonely at all. You take rabbits, for example. They're so very shy, they actually enjoy being alone. So rabbits shouldn't run outside and hug somebody? No, that would be very bad for their state of mind.
Okay, children, it's time to play musical instruments. Not that kind of music, this kind of music. Here. All right, children, let's play with plasticine. What will we make? Oh, no, 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 no. You're doing it all wrong. Here, let me show you. Here, that's better. A nice bowl. Oh, my. Wasn't that tiring? I think it's time to take a nap. Wake up, children. Excuse me. That's my coffee and my newspaper. Your snack is over there. Snack time, children. Eat your milk and cookies. It's story time, children. Come on, time for a story. And that's how the tortoise beat the hare and won the race. The end. Shall I read it again? Why, just looking at that old school brings back such glorious memories. Wouldn't it be wonderful to be a child again? Now remember everyone, if you feel the whole world around you is dark and you're hidden in a cloak of shyness, in this group, we want you to know you're not alone. Oh, look group, we have a new arrival. Hello. Oh, don't be afraid. Why don't you introduce yourself? Don't worry, we're all friends here. 
Well, maybe the group would like to say hello to our new friend. Okay, it needs a little work. Nice effort, though. Oh, well, goodbye. Our door is always open if you're in need of a friend. Thank、you